Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to a discussion on playing minor chords in every possible key. On the guitar we generally learn an E minor chord very early in our journey to play the guitar. So here I'm playing the standard E minor chord. I've got my finger on B on the A string, E on the D string and I'm playing the notes E, B, E, G, B, E. There are only three notes in an E minor chord. They are the notes E, B and G. So if I just play the three thinnest strings, one, two and three, by default that's an E minor chord. Just the bottom three strings, one, two and three, the skinniest strings. Okay, here's an A minor chord, very common chord on the guitar. In this case I'm playing an E, an A, an E, an A, a C and an E. Now the three notes in an A minor chord are A, C and E. So again if I play strings one, two and three, that's an A minor chord. Now finally on the guitar in first position, the, the other common guitar chord is D minor. So here I'm playing an A, D, an A, a D and an F. The three notes in a D minor chord are D, F and A. So again on the first three strings of the guitar, we have a D minor chord. So E minor, A minor, D minor. Now that's great, but that's only three out of 12 possible minor chords. So clearly we need to learn how to move those shapes into other positions. F minor is not this. E flat minor is not this. And B flat minor is not this. So the three shapes that involve open strings, we can't move unless we change the way we grab those chord shapes. So let's take the E minor shape first of all. Remember we said that if we play just the, the three skinnier strings on the guitar, well that's E minor. Well if that's E minor, that must be F minor. And that must be F sharp minor. G minor, A flat minor, A minor, B flat minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, E flat minor, E minor. There's your first movable minor chord that you can play in any key. So someone wants you to play something funky on a C minor chord. It's easy. All I'm doing is taking the three open strings and barring those three open strings using the first string as my guide note. If I want to play B flat minor, I find where B flat is on the first string, bar those three strings, there's a B flat minor chord. Now if I want a fatter B flat minor chord, well I can mimic the E minor shape up here with the five and fourth strings, the fifth and fourth, add them to my three string B flat minor. Now I've got a five string B flat minor. Bar, in this case the sixth fret, now I've got a six string B flat minor chord. Not only a B flat minor chord, if I want an A flat minor chord, I find where A flat is on the first string, or in this case on the sixth string, and there we go. If we take the A minor chord shape, Replace our fingers, play the same notes but with different fingers. Free up our index finger. That's A minor. Well, hang on a minute. That's B flat minor. That's B minor. C minor. C sharp minor and so on. If I want to play the six string version, bar the fret completely. So a chord like B minor is one of the first chords that you strike on the guitar where it's frustrating that there isn't an easy open sort of string grip for it. Take a song like Proud Mary. If we rule out the famous introduction to Proud Mary. Which has a lot of chords in it. It's in the key of D major. The song itself, the verse is just D major. The chorus has an A major in it and a B minor. Big wheels keep on turning. So that's a song where you just have to learn how to play B minor and it'll take you out of just the E minor, D minor and A minor grips. I hope you've enjoyed that. We've looked at two different ways today to play 
all of the 12 possible minor chords in music. Bye for now.